So we have USA versus Sweden for the Barebow Junior Women's Bronze Medal Match. The top ranked archer will get to choose if they would like to shoot first or second. Most archers will choose first. And then after that, it will be based on the archer that is trailing the match. So we have the Swedish archer will be shooting on the left. And the American archer is shooting on the right. Here a lot of fans already in the crowds already this morning, in the stands already this morning. those that watched the session last evening. We have first up is the cross hill target. So in a target like this, what do you really have to pay attention to? So these cross hill, especially with a bare bow and with the recurve archers, we're gonna see you're going to see them really trying to pay attention to the cant in the bow. That, that across the hill angle can really mess with you and you can think your bow's up and down when it's really at a, at a pretty severe angle. So that's going to cause some left and rights. So we'll see both archers. They have two minutes to shoot three arrows. It's oh, like a four for six. Like three and a one. We noticed both were on the right hand side, which not entirely shocking here with this side slope again. Let's see how they correct on their second arrow. That's going to be big today is how these archers come back after the first arrow of each target. So it looks like another three and another uh, maybe a two. Looks like a two. So we have a three point lead going into the last arrow of the target. The one thing that is pretty noticeable is just a left-right impact difference with these hills. It seems like it's really challenging. Yes, very tough. So she shoots a one her last uh -huh. arrow, so that gives Abigail some room here, Opens make up some orb. ground. Yeah. She lets down. We've got two minutes in these rounds, so there is some time to kind of adjust and really shoot a strong shot. we have a one point lead but there is that last arrow is a one star meaning it can be upgraded to a two when the judges go down for the arrow calls and as we saw last night you know a point here or there really makes no difference until that last 60 you know meter target well actually for the variables it's going to be 50 but um, it, it's anyone's game so now we see the archers moving to the second target and I believe this is a 20 meter for them up the hill. See the archers talking with their coaches here. Each archer's allowed a coach on the stake with them, giving them some advice how to. And so they have to make the adjustment on their own with their coach's help on how far to shoot these targets. So it looks like the one will stand, so we have a one point difference, seven to six. Here we go. And time has started. You'll see them, just like we saw last evening, a lot of these archers are gonna be digging out the ground, trying to find some level footing to stand on. Hmm. It's really important for them to be able to shoot a good shot, to have level ground to stand on. Yeah, one of the consistent challenges of uh, this event has been the footing. Um, you know, it's been very slippery, so establishing a stable base has been important. We'll start out with a three, open up. Looks like a three also, so I'll leave it on this target so far. See the archers leaning back. That's to keep consistent 
draw back for them. They want to keep their upper body at that same angle that it's normally on level ground. Nice. And that's a four. So, so far, all even. Matching each other arrow for arrow here. You know, it's it's definitely been a showcase of very solid shooting for the Barebows, um, especially on a course like this. Looks like Sarah shoots a five there. So that that could be a really big arrow. Let's see what Abig Abigail can do. That's a one, so she'll, <coughs> she'll lose a couple more points here. Yeah, but as we saw yesterday, you know, even going into the next target a few points down is really fairly insignificant. It's going to take solid shooting across the whole field to, to really get that win. And they'll move now over to the bunny target where they'll be shooting 10 meters. And as we saw yesterday, this was actually a pretty tricky target for some of the barebow shooters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's interesting to watch them shoot as they come up to the stake because you know there, there's a lot of different factors going in, especially on a birdie target where you know even for compound and recurve it can be quite challenging. So. Okay, a little feedback from the coaches there. Getting their arrows back from the first target. We see the arrows come down the slope on some cables. So again, they will have two minutes to shoot their three arrows. Now on the bunny targets, each archer must place one arrow in each of the bullseyes. If they put two arrows in the same one, they will lose scoring values. Now is there any particular order that these need to be shot in? No, um, each archer has their own theory. You see some shoot from the top down. You see some shoot from the bottom up. And you see some do a completely random order as these two both started in the middle. It looks like Sarah had a, had a pretty good first arrow and Abby had a, had a high one or two. Looks like she caught the gold there. I think it's a five. Yes, a four and a five. Nice. And looks like she caught the four line. So six, oh, three star. So we have, again, that could be upgraded to a, f to a four. So tentatively, it's five to nine with one arrow left on this target. And that looks like a four. Let's see if Abby can pick up couple points on her last arrow. Nice. Oh, she got a four there. Four there, matches that. So tentatively, again, a four point difference on this target. But we do have that one arrow that we're gonna have to wait for a judge's call. As they head over to the, the uh, 80 centimeter target here, um, just note the actual angle of this target. It's, it's very much quite steep, even though the TV won't quite capture it as well as you know being here in person. It is a very challenging target. So we have a nine point difference heading into the final target. But anyone who watched last evening will know anything can happen on this target. In fact, scoring arrows here is probably going to be bigger. <laughs> Just if you can score all three, you, you have a good chance. So we did get an upgrade on that arrow of Abby's. The three was upgraded to a four, meaning we only have a eight point difference. So we saw this, the Barebows definitely were the division that struggled the most in team round on this tough last hot ergot. Only two Barebow archers of the eight hit. Before that, so let's see how these girls do. I don't think either one of them were out there last night, so they're both shooting this for the first time. Actually, I believe Sarah shot with the um, gold medal team, oh. the junior women. Thank you. So that could give her an advantage. Let's see where her first arrow goes. Yep. Looks like we have two misses. Oops, here. 
got upgraded. She might have shot a two there. This is really quite a challenging target. Um, you know, even the the compound shooters here have been. We had one six last night. Um, Connor Sears is the only person to six this target so far. So we have two misses for Abby, and Sarah has another two. It's tough to see where their arrows are landing. So we just have to trust the judges here, spotters giving us these numbers. Let's see if Abby can hit the target on her final arrow. She gets a two. It's not enough. Sarah shoots another two and will win the match 38-26. So congratulations Sarah. to Sweden. <coughs> yeah, that's that's it's really quite a brutal course. Um, it's It's been fantastic to watch these archers um, go through the process of learning how to shoot um, this course in particular. This is nothing like what we've seen this whole weekend. And as it, you just saw that last screenshot showed where their arrows were, you saw Sarah top and to the left, and Abby's was on the bottom. So... Great job by Sarah, though. Three scoring arrows on that final target. Mm -hmm. 